How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to Sick Eric Tech. And today I wanted to go over a camera setting that has been very, very annoying for me at least over the past, I want to say, a couple of years with Samsung devices. And that is going to be in the camera settings and doing HDR and high efficiency mode on here for recording videos. Now, for the longest time, I had high efficiency mode on by default on my Galaxy devices. So when you go into settings and you go into advanced options, high efficiency is going to be enabled by default here. And I always hated that. I never knew about that. So when I would go and shoot videos, you know, for my channel and do camera reviews and stuff, I'd go into Power Director, which what I used to use a while back, and I would always have issues editing those videos. It would always crash or it just would not act right. I thought it was my phone. I thought it was Power Director. So annoying. So then I found out that everything comes in high efficiency mode on Samsung phones. You need to switch it to the H.264 most compatible mode. And that's all fine and dandy. And now everything works. So to show you what I mean, if I go into LumaVision and I here I have a full HDR, you know, high efficiency video. If I want to do some stuff to it, you know, I get stuff like this saying there's an error. It needs to down, needs to uh, downgrade the track or something. And that will just continue to pop up no matter what I try to do. And it will glitch on me. Sometimes there won't even be any audio on my video or sometimes there won't even be any visual on my video. It'll just be a black screen. And that is very annoying. So in that case, when you do have that issue, what you can do is you go ahead and go into whatever video you did. You can hit edit and go up here to three dots and hit size and format. And here you could change it from HEVC, which saves more space, to H.264 to make this more compatible amongst all your other devices. And that's freaking awesome. It's just a hassle trying to do that. I shot a whole video, my camera test of the Galaxy S24, all in high efficiency mode, HDR, and everything. I had such a pain editing that video just because I had a bunch of issues. I got it done, but it was a real pain in the ass. So with that being said, when you do change those settings, you go into settings and you go into advanced mode. When you have high efficiency mode, this is the only mode you are able to use high bitrate video, which increases the bitrate of videos recorded in video and pro video modes. High bitrate videos are usually larger than normal videos. So you could use that in high efficiency mode. Awesome. HDR capture a wider range of color and contrast by recording in 10 bit HDR, which is compatible with most apps and devices. Not true. Sometimes HDR does mess with editing apps as well. And of course, the shining feature on the Galaxy S25 is going to be your log mode, which you can set it for either pro mode only or video and pro modes. And this essentially, everybody knows a log is. This will record in a flat color tone. That way you could go in and tweak it yourself. Awesome new feature, first time on a Samsung but you cannot use any of these features in H.264 most compatible mode. Definitely very annoying. I kind of wish Samsung would have given us a choice to either have either mode and to still be able to use these other features. I don't know why they didn't. Maybe it's a, it's a size thing, I don't know, but out of the box, you're good. You start recording video, it's going to look damn good on your shiny new Galaxy S25 Ultra display. It's going to play back the HDR. It's going to look absolutely freaking beautiful. But once you transfer that video to your computer or to a Motorola device or to an LG device or something, it may not look good. Your colors are going to look a little bit duller, not as vibrant, and you might have issues editing that stuff. Now, 
this may not be the case for you normal average consumers out there who just shoot video and watch all this stuff on your phone and say hey look at my beautiful video to other people who actually edit videos or like you know me and other you know content creators out there that can be annoying and trying to edit that video is definitely a annoying thing to do so if you do find yourself coming on that issue and you got your new galaxy s25 ultra you recorded a bunch of video and you tried to go edit it you having problems or you're transferring it to your computer you know your laptop or something and you have issues what you can do is go ahead and go to that video hit these three dots size and format and you could downgrade that video to h264 and in some other cases if you are running hdr and you're having issues you could also downgrade that video to sdr doing the same process so that's another feature you could do if you accidentally had hdr enabled you could downgrade it to sdr it's not going to look as good as hdr but it'll still look damn good for most platforms and most editing software and you know devices and things like that like h264 is going to be compatible with most compatible devices so just wanted to throw that out there go into your settings and check them if you're having any issues recording video and transferring it and editing it or so and so that might be the problem right there why samsung makes that our default settings on here i do not know and i kind of wish they would give us all of these new shiny features on regular h264 most compatible mode rather than high efficiency mode so if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up and if you didn't give it a thumbs down and thank you for joining me here on sick air tech where we like to keep tech simple peace